My dad founded the team back in 2000. Ever since I was little, I would be coming into the room um, you know, watching them build the robot. Our team, I think, attracts adults and other students like actually moths to a flame. I guess my first impression of 612 was at the FLL tournaments that we host each year. And I remember looking up to them and being like, wow, I want to do what they do. When I come into the room now after day of teaching, and I love teaching, but it's like, you know. We don't just have adult mentors, students mentor each other. Mentoring 612 has been very fulfilling for myself and other mentors on the team. It's really exciting to work with the uh, students, the energy that they have, and the things that we get back from it is not only seeing the activities they get involved in, but also the learning that we get out of it too. What's really interesting to me is when I come here on the weekends, it's the same kind of problems that I face at work all the time. I actually apply what I learn here in my day-to-day -day work as well. not 100% focused on specifically the robot. We're also focused on outreach and marketing and you know, making sure that young kids are aware that you know, STEM is an option for them. We're such a high energy team. We love hanging out with other FRC teams in our area. 612 is the backbone of the regional FLL tournament. It's a group I can rely on year after year. We focus on helping other people. We have First Step, we have like all the other activities that we do for the community. Back in 2003, we were contacted by a mother whose baby was born with deformed hands and feet. We built him an automated baby walker and that's what inspired First Step. For kids with disabilities that maybe can't, if they have an archery unit, can't pull back a bow, we are building things to be used within the county to facilitate that. We focus on using what we learn from robotics and spreading that to other people that aren't as fortunate. 612 is actually involved into a community upon itself. It's not just the students and the mentors, but we have so many parents involved, we've got other adults, we've got other organizations involved with us. My dad was involved with the Air and Space Museum as a docent for 35 years and passed away two years ago, and the team has allowed me to maintain that connection. You know, and on top of that, it's just like, so it's, I feel like it's part of my DNA and I've found a home. I've become the person I am now because of 612. This is my family. Six what? Six twelve! Six what? Six twelve.